Hey, how's it going? Are you looking for a really high quality VHS to DVD recorder? Well, I've got the perfect device for you. It's a Toshiba DVR620KU. This thing's sweet, it looks really nice, and it will transfer all of your VHS tapes onto DVD without a problem. But let's go ahead and talk about it. So as you can see, it's got this gorgeous front panel. It'll look awesome in your entertainment center. And right here, there's a door that folds down. And by opening it, you get access to the rewind and fast forward buttons for the VCR, eject, play, and record. And then you can adjust the tracking right here. You've got a dubbing button. You can jump between the DVD and VCR function. And then you've got stop, play, and record. And then down here, you have your composite input if you wanna record onto DVD or VCR. And then you've also got a DV input if you wanted to connect your camera to it. On the rear panel of it, you've got an HDMI output right here, which is actually the main reason you might wanna get this device because it provides 1080p up conversion, which is the highest quality playback for DVD. Over here, you have a coaxial digital audio output, analog audio output, S-video output, component output, and then an S-video input for recording onto DVD. And then you've got another input for composite, that's for recording onto VHS or DVD. And then you've got a composite output. And this was manufactured in March of 2013. Now that you understand all the connections, let's go ahead and connect it. So we're gonna plug in the power cord and then connect the HDMI cable. Once you have it all connected, you can go ahead and turn it on and you can do the playback. So we're gonna just play back a DVD at first. And then you can also put in a VHS, of course. And this is the original remote control for it. So this is the DVD function. You can see it playing right there. And then this will be the VCR function. All you have to do to switch between the two is push the VCR or DVD button down here. And then you can press play. And then if you push stop and then fast forward, you can do a faster fast forward. Or you can just do a standard fast forward by having it playing and pushing fast forward. So now that we've shown you the playback, let's go ahead and do the recording. So to begin recording, you'll first want to pick out your recordable disc. Right here, we have a DVD minus R, which this device will do minus R or RW. Other devices might do plus R or RW. So for this one, we're gonna use minus R. And also the difference between R and RW is R is record once and RW is rewritable or record multiple times. So you can keep deleting whatever you recorded before. With the R, you can only record one time. And then once you have your disc in there, you'll also want to put in your VHS tape that you want to copy to DVD. Once the disc is loaded, you'll want to be on the DVD side. And you may need to format the disc if the machine doesn't do it automatically. And to do that, you'll push the setup button and you'll go to the DVD options. But for this one, we don't have to do that. So all we have to do is push the dubbing button on the remote and then it will begin recording VHS to DVD. And you'll wanna make sure that it's recording in SP or standard play. That means it'll maintain the quality and it will fit two hours of recording onto the disc. You can fit up to eight hours on the disc if you wanna lower the quality, or you can also improve the quality if you wanna fit one hour on the disc. But you don't really need to do that generally. You can just do SP and that'll be your best option. And then once you're done recording, you can push stop or you can just let the disc fill up all the way and it will stop automatically. Now that we're done recording, we'll push stop and then we'll give the device a minute to save the recording onto the disc.
And then once it's done saving it to the disk, you'll want to make sure that you finalize it. If you don't finalize the disk, you won't be able to play it in other players, and it will only play back in this device. So to do that, we're going to go back into the setup menus, and then the DVD menu. And also, you want to make sure that you're on the DVD side for this. If you're on the VHS side, you're not going to be able to get into the disk menu. And then we'll push finalize, and then yes, and then we'll just let it do this by itself and then once it's done we can take the disc out and play it in other players. Once it's done finalizing you can take the disc out and play it in any player as long as it can play back those discs. That's pretty much all you need to know about this Toshiba DVD VCR recorder. If you're looking to buy one make sure you give us a call. The phone number will be down in the description or you can get it from our website at forlowo.net. Don't forget, we're the best place on the planet to buy vintage electronics. Thanks for watching.